Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome for this beautiful Thursday. What is it, September? What is it? Not September, I'm saying July 11th. How's everybody doing? Good to see you, Grant, Lewis, Bone, Steve. Good to see you, Rich, Ken. All right. Sylvia, Bones, everyone else. Lewis, good to see you all. All right, guys, let's get started. First of all, we're going to just start off really quick and talk about CVS. Uh, I know a lot of you guys already hit pretty big doing CVS already this morning. Listen, early bird gets the money. You could see it this morning when we when we first started, 8 o'clock this morning. Stock was around uh, just below, uh, just above 58. Right now it's at 59. You know what? Unfortunately, it's not a big winner. It's not like the stocks that we traded yesterday. You know, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday has been phenomenal as of so far. I mean, we killed it with the uh, with a couple of stocks. Um, obviously, they, you could see we're already having a short squeeze in it, like this uh, the the CEI. I'll bring that up really quick. You know, listen, whatever goes up must come down twice as fast, right? What a beautiful stock. We did really well on that one. Uh, it doesn't really make sense on this chart, but if I actually break it down to here, I got to go back further. Uh, 10 minutes. There you go. Beautiful chart right there. Got cycles from three all the way to, uh, to nine. That was awesome. Uh, but you can see, obviously, it all coming down. That's why every day is a brand new day. We wake up, we start new. And uh, just uh, bringing up my level four up here to see what's going on right here. And, you know, that that's the ultimate goal. We start fresh. Every day is a new day. And we're going to look for some good stocks that are moving in the market. And that's what it's all about. All right. Uh, WAS uh, was great short. Well, you know, you got you got a couple of stocks that are moving here. We'll keep an eye on some of them, but let me just bring up uh, which you know was it W A A S uh, Ken? Uh, oh, was a great short. Oh, <laughs> you making me type in a stock symbol, and I'm I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking it's a stock. Yeah, it was a great short. It sure was. All right, so uh, what happened as of yesterday? So what do we got going on? Couple of, a couple of stocks made some big moves. Let's start off with the HLIT, for example. We always like to start off and talk about what happened as of yesterday. Let me fix my little time frame over here so you guys can get a little bit of understanding what happened. Uh, but that stock was a great pop in the open. Stock went from 660 all the way to 770. Really, really nice push. Then she came back down. You could see that uh, bounce at that 720. Great iceberg orders on this thing all over the place. You could see, though, it's pretty much dead as, as of right now. The, C, the CEI we already talked about, the VISL. That one was another – that one was probably – I don't know. I think it was probably a little bit better. Ah, you know what? I say it is better than the than, than the uh, the CEI trade. That thing just was um, unstoppable in pre-market. And you can see pre-market is here in red. Um, everything light is basically during the market. But this thing just went from $2 all the way to 7 A lot of you guys cleaned up. Um, some of you guys made not, not hundreds but thousands of dollars on this trade. Probably pay for the training courses on this one stock alone. I told you guys, you're going to make it back. Don't even worry about it. You just got to know how to play the game. That's the goal. If you don't know how to play the game, you're never going to be able to capitalize on this. But you know what's so funny? I got messaged. Uh, I did a I did a, an Instagram uh, video on this in pre-market. I don't know if you guys have Instagram, but you know, um, what's, you know, I try to do time to time uh put a couple of quick instagram videos on there but i you know we do have the youtube video but i did get uh email the guy the guy goes and i hear this all the time what does the company do i'm like i'm like does it matter does it really matter why are you here you care what the company does you're here to make money you know what Ask me that today and tell and ask me if I really care. <laughs> okay, that's what it comes down to. But once again, that's the problem with today's people that trade the market. They just don't get it. You know what I mean? And that's what it is. Uh, what else have we had? The Crohn's, the CRON. Uh, that one basically came down. Not that big. Uh, that much news. I know some of you guys trade. It was probably pretty much that ship is pretty much gone and sailed. Uh, oh, F cell. That one, um, that one came from nowhere. I don't know what happened with that one. You know, we're not a big fan of trading in expensive stocks, but look at the stock, twenty-four dollars last year. Poor thing is down to eighty cents. Ouch! But she was pretty good yesterday. I don't know what happened. She, she got one thing I loved about this stock. She had beautiful Fausto flags right here, and then when she busted through, the thing went up. But you could, you could have traded tens of thousands of shares of the stock, and you could have did well with it. You know, ten thousand shares of stock moves a penny. You make a hundred dollars. You could see a thing went from seventy to eighty-five. You know, so um, 
definitely great opportunity there. It was pretty easy to get in and out of it. Stock trade a lot of shares. But anyway, that's basically what happened yesterday. And let's get back what's talking about today. All right, so the big stock on the uh, the big stock we're all going to be watching, and I know a lot of you guys have been doing well so far is on that CVS trade. So CVS, you know, came up some good news, and you can see the stock just popped from 56 early, early this morning. Let me fix this time frame over here. And, uh, you know, at 8 o'clock this morning, went from 58, uh, 57.50 to 59. Now, listen, it's an expensive stock. It's not like those pretty ones uh, that, that we traded that were very inexpensive, those two, three dollar stocks that go to five, six. But, uh, you know, and, you know, th there is something you guys got to be very careful about. Listen. I, you know, and one of the students brought this up to my attention again. How do I know I'm, I'm not chasing a stock? Why, why did everyone else make money and I'm losing money? The first thing you are taught in class, okay, the first thing, all right, is, is the stock tradable or not? Okay, the, the, there's two things you got to beat to make money. You got a commission and you got a spread. The spread is the most expensive part. If you're worrying about commissions, you're in the wrong business. OK, go back and start interviewing stockbrokers. That's realistically what you need to do. It's part of you have to trade. Now, the third most important thing is what level you're at. OK, you can't go out there and race the Indy 500 when you can't even go around. You can't even still put the keys in the car. OK, but apparently it pays a lot of money if you win the race. Yeah. OK, well, listen, I know we all like to be maybe a race car. Maybe you'll want to play professional athlete. Maybe you want to play on the girls soccer team, you know, in the World Cup. But if you, you know what, go out there and see how you do with them. You know, just because you think you have money doesn't mean that you should be on the field. Trading is the same thing. But the difference is here. There are a lot of stocks that you can trade. You just got to know which one until you're ready. And that's why it's so important when we talk about your journals. You got to follow your journals, okay? But anyway, CVS, listen, if you're not qualified to trade it, if you're not a level three, level four, do not trade CVS because this stock will take you uh, for um, uh, be a hell of a circus for you and definitely will hurt, hurt you um, in the pocketbook. All right, now, this one stock also, I don't know what happened with it. She had a really nice move this morning and she's starting to break down on me. Um, by the way, just to let you really quick, I'm looking on my level four. I see a big iceberg order on CVS for 10,000 at 59.40. So be very careful. Uh, looks like it's testing a major, major resistance. So if the guy gets hit, this thing will pop. All right. So keep a close eye on that one. But this one, I don't know what happened. She kind of died out. Um, you know, finally, I mean, it's a pretty substantial move. I mean, stock is up 76 percent as of now. It was up about over 100. But I do want to keep an eye on it. And uh and see what it moves but you know i'm not always a big fan of trading stocks like that they're under a dollar you know under a dollar and break a dollar so let's see if it kind of uh uh the smoke clears and see what it where the trend is another one frsx up 13 percent some of you remember the stock we traded it about a couple of uh less than a week ago stock went from a dollar to about three dollars She's up about 13%, you know, three quarters of a million shares, great orders out there. You can see you got a 12,000 share buyer already sitting here, which is pretty much making uh, somewhat of a support level uh, on that chart. But that one looks pretty good. Nice little cheapy right there for some of you that really uh, are starting out that really can't afford to trade, you know, and have small accounts. That might be uh, up your alley. I just want to just throw this out there. VISL, one of our big winners. Stock went from a dollar to eight dollars. Huge short squeeze with a great, great short it was. You know, some people are like, well, how is this possible? Stock goes from a dollar to eight dollars and it's right back where it started. <laughs> you know what? That's trading, guys. By the way, that seller on um, on CVS just got done for 10,000. Just letting you know. Looks like it's going to be, uh, looks like it's breaking out. CVS, let me just bring this up really quick. Yep. You can see um, on time and sales right there on the right hand side, all those orders did get executed. Just giving you a heads up on that one. What else we have on this watch list? Um, CI for all my level five traders. Anyone that makes more than $1,000 a day to, um, you know, 2,500 a day, this stock might be up your alley. Just be very careful. Very, very big spread. Stock uh, took a big hit from 220, all the way down to buck 50. Stock is actually moving pretty nice today. And last but not least is HUM that I found. Uh, this one, another stock, unless you got very, very deep, deep pockets, if you are a level five trader, is right up your alley. So once again, we have some for the advanced traders, some for the beginner traders, and some for, you know, the watchers. But uh, but we do have a good list of stocks. Uh, typical, it is hump day on Thursday. So, you know, 
we got some uh there's always something new that will pop up anything i'm missing guys i did not call out yes and also I, you're right the dell trade i told you that that stock was actually a pretty good swing trade you know we talked about that the last couple of days you know only concern i have with dell it is testing a major resistance levels back over here you see it right there uh what is that the end of december when we the uh, during that Christmas crash. So um, it's got to break that resistance. So I'm a little skeptical. But when we did talk about it, it was roughly around the 58. 61 is not bad. Once again, it's not a day trade. It's more of a swing trade. All right. All right, good. All right, guys. So you got the watch list. Um, just to let you guys know, a lot of events coming up uh, this week. I remember starts today, today at 12 o'clock. We're going to have live trading with Fausto. So we'll see you then. And then Saturday, I'm going to be on Metastock. Uh, I'm going to be doing a trader summit with about five presenters, some of the best masterminds um, in the industry, some of the smartest traders uh, in the industry. So don't forget that. That'll be this weekend. I'm actually going to be on at 4 o'clock, which kind of stinks on a Saturday. But you know what? You know, um, some people can't be here during the week, so they only could be on the weekend. So, um, you know, tell your friends about it. And uh, like I said, if you can't make it, it will be recorded. And then obviously, you know, Tuesday and then we got all the all the new uh, live paid courses are going to be starting uh, starting next week. All right, guys. So that's that. I'll see you at 12 o'clock. And then don't forget, if I don't see you at 12, we'll be doing the afternoon meeting at 2.30. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. Be safe. And uh, don't get too cocky. All right. Good luck today.